Hi, this is a video about how to connect the Key Mission 360 with your iPhone. <coughs> it's uh, not as easy as it, it looks. <coughs> and a lot of people have complained about not being able to pair their Key Mission. If you follow these steps, hopefully you'll be able to connect your Key Mission with your iPhone. First, I'll show you what the app looks like when it's connected. So, I'm going to turn on the, um, the, the Key Mission. <clears throat> so uh, right now it's it's taking a picture. Uh, after it finishes taking a picture, then we can we can connect. Okay, so it's done taking a picture. I'm gonna go to my SnapBridge app, <clears throat> and I go and I click on connect. And if you see this. Uh, Bluetooth logo. You see the iPhone, you see the camera, you see the Bluetooth logo. That means they're connected. You go to camera um, and you click on, uh, tap on uh, remote photography and it's going to give you a, uh, this notice. Okay, it's going to tell you that uh, Wi-Fi has been enabled. That's fine. Just close it. Do not click on go. Um, go to your settings. Um, go to Wi-Fi, make sure it's connected, okay fine it's connected, go back to the app, alright, so we try again, <clears throat> and here we are, here's the live view, um, you can move it around, and uh, if you press this uh, little icon in the bottom right corner is going to reset the view. So now that you've seen how it works when it's supposed to work, uh, I'm going to delete all my settings so that you can see how to pair it from the beginning. So first we'll, we'll close that out. <clears throat> I'll turn this off. So now it's off. I go to the app and I click on end pairing and connection to the camera yes it's going to tell you that you have to forget the device under Bluetooth as well no problem so you go to settings uh, <clears throat> go to Bluetooth and I'm going to look for it it's here <clears throat> I'm going to click on forget this device mm. It's not letting me do it at the moment. <coughs> I'm going to click on forget this device. Forget device. <coughs> so now these, these are not connected. My key mission is not paired with my phone. Now we're going to learn how to do it. First, you need to make sure that you've downloaded the SnapBridge app and you need to make sure that you have a um, memory card inserted in the uh, camera. Um, if not, you'll the lights will keep blinking in a, in a way that won't let you know if you're actually connected or not. Uh, uh, make sure both of them are charged. See if your iOS is updated to version 10.1 which improves the Bluetooth compatibility with third-party devices. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So to go into pairing mode, the first time you turn it on, it should be in pairing mode. But if you've already tried and you've failed, then this is how to do it all over again. While the camera is off, it'll hold down the power, the, the movie button, not the photo button, the movie button, hold it down for seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you'll see the lights are starting to blink, blink green. That just let it blink until it starts blinking like the lights are alternating. And just give it a few seconds. Now they're alternating so it's ready to pair. <clears throat> we go to the SnapBridge app. <clears throat> And um, if this is the first time you're running SnapBridge, it's going to try to connect to the, the, the camera. But 
um, if this if this is not the first time then you just click on the tap tap on connect here if you're not already there and then tap on this it's gonna look for the the camera so it's, it sh the camera should show up there so I click on that uh, then this is going to pair up the Bluetooth then from this this pop-up uh, screen click on a key mission again so um, that this takes care of the first half of the of the connection which is Bluetooth you have to click on uh, remote photography and it's going to tell you that it's going to activate the Wi-Fi <clears throat> Yeah, it can take a while. Or if it takes this long, sometimes it's because it actually has failed to it will, it will say something like there's something there's you're not in range or whatever and obviously I'm in range it's just a, an issue with the the app itself <coughs> or the camera <coughs> oh I see the problem if in this case the camera turns itself off that's okay just turn it back on <coughs> I'll just exit out of the app just to be sure go back to the snap bridge Okay, so right now um, it's connected. It resumed connection with the with the Bluetooth because once you pair it one time, if the next time you turn on the the app and while the camera is on, it's it's supposed to reconnect automatically. So now let's try to uh, do remote photography. <clears throat> so I click on that. Now it's telling you now the Wi-Fi signal of the camera is on. Uh, now instead of clicking on go. Close out of that, go to settings, then um, go to Wi-Fi, make sure it's connected to, to the key mission Wi-Fi signal, and if it's the first time to connect it, the default password is Nikon key mission. Nikon is the N, K, and M are uppercase. So once it's connected there, go back to the app, the SnapBridge app, and click on remote photography your camera settings or the other options like download selected pictures and here we go here we are again so I hope that helps I'm gonna do a separate video for Android and which is a little bit simpler <clears throat> and uh, hopefully that helps you thank you bye